Yeah, I just wanted to show everyone that I rebuilt Tuck's play gym because the other one was starting to cave in. So actually, well, I actually didn't do it; someone else did. But um, the bottom's glued. I set it up and put the ends on and stuff. Um, but I just wanted to show, and then I added this little um, metal shelf for him to have some foot toys in and to hang out on if he wants. And actually, his favorite spot is right over here. As you, he can, as you can see, he's been chewing on that right there. He chews on that a lot. Um, and... His favorite thing, bells. He has to have bells. But, um, I did a little differently this time. Set it up a little differently. So he's still getting used to the new. And I, instead of attaching the water to this like it was before, I just attached it to his cage. And as you can tell, he's taking a bath. But the gym is right up next to his cage. So he's easy access to it. Um, that's an empty cage back there. But, anyway, I basically wanted to show, and I did not put the basket on the bottom this time because I moved the gym too much. So I didn't have the metal tray basket to keep stuff in. Um, my bedroom is full of bird stuff. But I still have this, obviously, for his droppings. And where is Tucker? Tucker is sitting by his light because he just took a bath. Hi, sweetie. Hi, we're showing everybody your play gym. How are you doing? What you doing in there? Hello? Peekaboo? Peekaboo? Are you a pineapple parrot? Pineapple parrot. You're a good boy. Sweet bird. Sweet bird. Okay, well, I don't think you're going to come out since you just took a bath. But anyway, I just wanted to show everybody your new play gym. And that it's different. I also did this different. Um, it's easy. I mean, it's not that expensive. It's for birds. You can put it on their cages anywhere for them to chew on. I did it so when he steps over here, he has a grip. And on the ends of this is actually skateboard tape. Um, for, I actually put these on his smaller perches like this one over here um, it gives him grip plus it helps with the nails that little one there um, has it on it where he actually stands so and under this cage that's empty is a whole bunch of projects that aren't done yet that's another um, perch that I'm going to do with no toys or anything attached to it. It's just going to be for training purposes, like working with him with his harness. Sorry about that. Once I finish the top of it. But, um, that'll just be a training perch. Hopefully. If Tuck is trainable at almost six years old and he's a pineapple green cheek, they don't have any kind of real green cheeks don't have a lot of attention span. <laughs> Oops. And then I bought some Cecil rope so I could actually make some ropes myself. So we'll see how that works when I get time for that. But, um, other than that, it's the same gym. I think it might be a little bit taller. The dimension's a little bit different. But, as I said before on the other one, thanks to Zillette Life, Colette, um, it was her idea, this was her gym, and I got the measurements from her. So if you want to look up the measurements, how to actually make the gym itself, no, don't go on Pinterest, because it's not there. It's actually on YouTube. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye, tech.